to another <laughs> Southeast Division team, the Atlanta Hawks. Now, mm. I think this team is everyone's darling pick to be the eighth seed this year. They've had an interesting offseason. I won't say whether it's great or not. Had some really good auditions, getting Bogdanovich, getting Danilo Gallinari. Uh, they traded for Clint Capella last year, right before uh, the pandemic. Atlanta Hawks, 34 and a half wins. Murph, what do you think about uh, this team in the ATL? <laughs> well, as you all know, I love Trey Young. Um, <laughs> ever, ever since back in the day in college when, you know, none of you guys started, believed me. That he would be, you know, a very good player in the NBA. But, hey, you know, you know sometimes people just have to find out on their own. But, um, no, I mean, I'm so – in that in that vein, I'm rooting for him. You know, I I, you know, but this is another stay away from me. But I'm rooting for him. I'll, I'll go. I'll lean to the over. Uh, I, you know, Lloyd Pierce. I'm rooting for him. You know, to do a good job here. But he has to show me uh, that that he he can really coach, especially when you add all this talent. Which so there could be chemistry issues, especially with Trey Young, um, because you know he is kind of, he is a shoot first guy, and he's, you know flair for the dramatic that doesn't always play well with with teammates who want to. You know, get their shots. Also, um, they added Bogdanovich and Gallinari. Uh, you have a year older Reddish and Hunter. Uh, they're looking good. So they have all the talent in the world. They got Rondo. To I mean, does he help with chemistry? I'm not sure. As a vet, you would think, but I mean, he's he's been known to be cantankerous himself. Um, so it's very close. I, I'm leaning over. Stay the hell away. <laughs> Stay the hell away. All right. You know I had to go to you first, Murph, because we know you love Trey Young. Uh, Brian, the Hawks, 34 and a half. Yeah, your name. You know, when all this happened, like Danilo Gallinari, Bogdanovich, and all these acquisitions, I love Chris Dunn. As you guys know, as a defensive player, he's one of my favorites to watch in the league. I would have leaned strong over at one point. Now, the more that I sort of think about it, I'm like, this can kind of just blow up in the opposite direction. But I'm, I, for me, it's more of a stay away. And if it's over, it's not much over because you'd be talking about a 500 team. And I think they can go 500. But I wouldn't be surprised if this just sort of slips in the other direction and just things just don't work out. It just feels like one of these situations where it's cool. You win the offseason. You get a lot of good free agents and you get this guy and this dude. And then it just doesn't work out. And I could see that happening as well. It wouldn't shock me, but I would probably lean for now slight over. Gerard, do you have the same sort of trepidation? Because that's that's the kind of vibe I'm feeling too. While I'll talk about that, but do you have the same sort of trepidation here with the Hawks? Yeah. So of course, all Murph's comments are targeted towards me because I said Trey Young had high bust potential. I didn't say he would be a bust. I said he had high bust potential. Hey. Uh, he, I, was, he, I was thinking about all of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, Trey, Trey is much better than I thought he would be. Kudos. Look, I, I think it's a stay away as well. I'm going to take the over slightly, but this is the year, man. You, This team has a lot of talent on it with Trey, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, my man Kevin Herter, like, I mean, Reddish, Gallinari, all the guys we talked about. Bog, Bogdanovich is here. Rondo, look, this team should make the playoffs. If they don't, however, Lloyd Pierce, Lloyd Pierce, Lloyd Pierce, and Travis Schlenk, oh man, y'all better start, you know, maybe looking for some new jobs soon because it's it's time now. The talent is here. You're young enough and you're good enough at that, particularly the bottom part of the East. I ain't saying they're gonna be a four seed, but yo, especially the playing that 10, 9, 8 range, they got to be there. If they're not, psh, I don't know. But stay away, because I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you guys on this real quick. I, I would stay away from this. I see the Hawks as a five, kind of like 500 team. If they finish 36 and 36, wouldn't shock me. Is that good enough to probably get them 7-8 in the East? Probably. Should, and like Gerard said, they should. And if they don't, there's going to be a lot of problems. But uh, I would take the over. Not confident in it. Brian's not wrong, because he's blown up and going the other way. I'd stay away from this one. All right. This is a team I'm really excited about, guys. <laughs> 